Hey, Todd Burrier from ToddBurrier.com. So do you ever struggle with stopping and starting? You know, you you want to build your business, you want to accomplish your goals, you want to reach your dreams, but you stop and start. You know, you, 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 you take some effort, You maybe you go down the road for 30 days, 60 days, maybe even a 90-day sprint, and then you back off. I, I see this all the time. I've certainly been guilty of it in my career at times. Um, I want to give you some insight as to why you don't want to do it. I mean, and, and outside of the normal thing that you would say why you don't want to do it is it's not helping you build your business, right? But, but really, there's way more going on, on there. Um, I, I believe that why we stop, right, has to do with head trash anyway. It's classically head trash. It's because we don't think we're worthy of success or we don't deserve success or... It's a little bit of self-sabotage. I've seen it. And so, I mean, I've seen people have tremendous success inside of a year and then just blow it off. I, and, and it's just because they couldn't allow themselves to accomplish. And they, they didn't stay at it long enough to overcome some of that deep-seated stuff. You know, some of that deep-seated conditioning that we all have from society and our education and our environment. And, you know, because, it, you know, we don't live in a culture... Um, in Western cultures where it's all about who you are and what you can be, it's, it's, you know, the messages around us are what you don't have and what you lack, right? You're not as, you're not as good as you need to be because you're not this, right? Um, and so let me give you some of, the, some of the things inherently that that does for you, how it, it really hurts you in a broader way. Um, because it doesn't just affect your business, it affects you in a much broader way. And, and so I'm going to give you a few things that, that maybe can help you understand going forward why you wouldn't want to stop um, because of, of these things. And this, this is not, um, if it's a big life event, that's different, right? Like if someone close to you dies or you get really sick or um, you, know, somebody, you get married or someone close to you gets married or there's a baby or you're moving. These kinds of things take, you know, you have to focus because there's a lot going on. But I'm talking about just the, you didn't feel like it. <laughs> you didn't feel like it, and or something happened. So, here's what's happening there, and what it's doing for you, and why you don't want to do it. Um, one, it breaks their habit, right? It breaks the habit of the work and kills your rhythm. You never want to kill your rhythm, right? You you can get yourself in a flow where things get easier, easier and easier and easier, and you begin to see results on a consistent basis. That's what working the process the way I teach does for you, um, is you begin to see consistent results over and over and over. The second thing is really hard, and, and that is the guilt, because you, you end up having guilt, which negatively feeds your self-worth, and that affects your whole life. That affects, you, you might become irritable, um, it just kind of is sitting there with you, and, and then, you, you know, it, it, go, it comes out sideways, right? You, it, it affects how you treat people you love, it affects you in your job, it affects your attitude in general, all because you're carrying a little bit of guilt because you're not doing the thing you knew you could be doing. Right. That's and, and these, the reason I give you these is because I want you to get so attached to the idea that it's not optional because these things hurt your life. Right. And you don't want you don't want to hurt your life. You're trying to make your life better. Um, next is your skills will deteriorate. Um, you know, you, if you go a, a month without using your skills, well, if you haven't you done these, you have, if you haven't prospected for years and years and years, then the skills you develop by two months of prospecting will begin to diminish relatively quickly. Um, it's like anything else in life. You know, you haven't created a really deep attachment to that learning yet. And so when you restart, you'll go right back to all that stuff, right? The, the rejection feelings, the discomfort, the not being sure what to say. You know, and, and if you've done it before, you know what I'm talking about. You, you know, you, last week you were fine. Two weeks from now, you're not so fine, right? You don't feel so comfortable. It also feeds scarcity thinking um, because you now go from focusing on building something and growing something to holding on and worrying. And that, that's not a good place to be either. That, that feeds right up into the top of that negative um, uh, effect, that seepage into your attitude. Um, and then it also, if you've built a team at all, you'll begin focusing on what the team's not doing. Right? You begin focusing on them not building 
their business, the, those people who also are going through their periods, because you're not doing it. And so it, the, that, that will then affect your interactions with your team. <laughs> and you're going to have negative energy towards them. So there's five things that hopefully will help you go, wait a minute, I'm not going to do that. But let me give you a simple answer. I mean, this answer is so simple. It's going to be hard for you to believe that it's this easy. But here's all you need to do. Simply make sure when you get up in the morning, even if you're in a period of time, now again, a major life event is different, right? That, that's a different kind of thing. Just make sure that you commit to coming back and jumping in once you're through the major part of that. Um, but in general, to, to completely alleviate these five things from happening, it's as simple as make a commitment, first thing in the morning, send out three reaches. It's such a simple thing to do. Three reaches will take you five minutes. But just having done that, so you can send three reaches out, hey, just check in to see if you had a chance to talk today, or hey, I got an awesome thing I'm working on, are you at all open, kind of thing, right? I mean, obviously, I give you all this kind of language in my 27 scripts that you can get right at tybury.com or in my blueprint process training, which I teach it deeply in there um, to turn anyone into a master prospector. But you can use simple language, do three simple reach outs by direct message, first thing in the morning before you go to work. I promise you, by doing that, it will lift you. It will lift you, it will create momentum for you emotionally, that simple thing. It's a five minute thing. I know that seems bizarre, but try it. Try it for 30 days and see what it does. You probably end up sponsoring a couple people from it, but more importantly, you will always feel like you're in the game. And then that will affect what you do after work and it'll affect how you think during the day and it will keep your skills sharp and it will keep you with an abundant mentality and a possibility thinking. So it will help you big time. So hope that was helpful for you. Feel free to share it with someone else that you think might get value from it.